Hey everyone, it is uh, Mike the Dad Nerd here, amateur radio call sign Whiskey Zero Echo Golf Romeo. And today in this video I wanted to quickly cover uh, my ham radio install on my new 2022 Trail Boss. And the reason I wanted to cover it is because I ran into a lot of just complications on how to run wires uh, in this new truck. I had previously been coming from a pretty old Jeep, and you know those old Jeeps are super easy to wire, especially to get through the firewall. Uh, to run antennas and radios and uh, now with these new trucks there's just so many electronics and things in there and stuff up under by the steering column that it makes it a little bit difficult to find a way to pass through so i wanted to share how i did it um, and what i did on this install to make it just a little bit easier uh, it's a little bit windy out here today hopefully you're not picking up too much wind noise but let's go ahead and take a look there's a few things i'm going to show you number one with the antenna and then pop the hood show you how i ran it through and uh, then we'll show you the inside of the truck with the, where the actual radio is all right so this is the 2022 trail boss from chevy and you'll notice that i decided to do a uh, hood lip mount for my antenna obviously being a new truck i really didn't want to drill in the top this is also, the Trail Boss comes with uh, a standard lift from the factory. And so getting into parking garages and things like that is already really tight. And I did not want another antenna uh, sticking above the roof line of the car. So this is what we went with. This little antenna is a new antenna to me. On all my previous installs, I've run a pretty tall antenna. This is the compact antenna. I'll put a link to this down in the description below just so you guys can have a link to all of these parts that I used uh, for the radio. But this is a great little antenna, about seven inches tall, um, extremely light. And this antenna is actually designed to go exactly where it is, on the corner of the hood or on the corner of the top of the roof. These are designed specifically for that. So I know a lot of people say, ideally you would want this in the middle of your roof. Uh, this antenna is specifically designed to be mounted on the corner. And you'll notice the mount it is on. This is actually a custom mount. All of these parts I got from dxengineering.com and I'll put links to it. They specifically design these lips to have the proper bends in them for your vehicle. So let's go ahead and pop the hood here. I already hit it on the inside and show you what that looks like. All right, so popped up, you will notice that this bracket right here, so this screw is already there from the factory. You unscrew that screw, put in the mount, and you'll notice just the proper bends uh, that are already in it, which is fantastic, makes it super easy. Uh, the hood can go up and down and not be blocked by the antenna. So that is where that's routed. So you'll wonder where I routed everything to. There's a few different options on these trucks. You can actually go down into the fender well and then route through the door jam. That was gonna be a little bit more complicated. What I found was, and you'll notice, there's also this black wire that runs right here. That is the power line that goes to the battery. So that goes to, you can pop this cover off, goes to the positive terminal, negative is over there to the body. Now, getting these in was no easy task. And you guys will notice, if I can get the camera close enough, there is a grommet right here. And that grommet, there is an extra little uh, nipple that is on there on the side that is closed off. That is actually intended for new wires just like this. So when you get in there, you can kind of see where those wires run in. You cut the end off the nipple and then you can get your wires and poke them through. Now, the challenge that I ran into was actually once you get them through the firewall, uh, they stop. What they're hitting is foam that is on the inside under by where your feet are, uh, under where the steering column comes in, and it seems like they won't go any further. So the way I did, and it's really hard to find those wires when you're reaching up in there in the driver's compartment, it's really hard to find the wires. What I did is I took a little metal shish kebab uh, from the barbecue and I actually put it through on this side and poked through the foam. Now you have to be a little bit careful just to make sure you're not hitting any other wires or anything like that. Um, but poke through the foam and then when you're on the inside of the vehicle you can reach up and in and you can feel the metal tip of that shish kebab and that at least tells you where the wires are going to be. And then the foam on the inside you can actually pull it back a little bit 
and get your hands up in there to pull new wires. So once I found where that was at, I pulled the foam back, those wires were able to shove through. But let's go ahead on the inside of the truck and show you what that looks like. Okay, so on the inside of the truck, this is on the floor. This is under the driver's seat and this is where I mounted my radio. So this is a TYT uh, TH9800. Um, and this is, this is where the main radio is. And you can see the head unit is actually right under the main entertainment system. I think this looks as pretty close to factory as you're gonna get a ham radio in a brand new truck. Um, I haven't found a good place for the mic. I just set it right here. I do wish this mic mounted to the actual base station under the seat. Uh, on this radio, it mounts to the head unit, which is fine. It's just one extra cord that I didn't want to run to the center, but uh, I can't have it perfect. And then the speaker I have mounted with Velcro right in this little area right here. So that's mounted, I can take that off. This is also mounted with Velcro, so I can pull this out if I ever need to uh, without any issue. So I did not have to drill any wires. And then the head unit cable I routed into the trim right here. And everything comes to this little junction right here. So it comes to this junction under the trim and you'll see just pops out right in front of my seat and goes to, so this is where the antenna wire, power wire, speaker wire, all of that runs down to. So let's go ahead and take a look up underneath here at what I'm talking about with the wires. I'm gonna grab a flashlight here so we can see. Okay, so what you'll notice is there's foam right here. And this is the foam that you're hitting. And when you're routing those wires, if you just bring your hand all the way up to the top and pull back a little bit on this foam, you will feel that shish kebab that I told you or whatever metal thing you put in, it's right up behind here. And I actually can't even, you can't see it with the camera, but that foam is all right above where that column's at. And that is where the wires are gonna come into. So the wires are gonna come down and you'll notice that is where these are running to. It's not that difficult. It's not that difficult if you know what you're looking for and where they are going to pop out. But once I learned that that foam, behind the foam is where those wires are coming to, made it a lot easier to get those wires in. So overall, that is how I got my ham radio mounted up into the new 2022 Chevy Trail Boss. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Happy to help, happy to answer any questions. If you guys have a better way to run those wires, um, you know, happy to have you guys talk about it down in the comments. I chose that area because that is actually from the factory where you are designated to kind of put new wires if you're running speakers or anything like that. So chose to utilize that option. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. Until I do, tech on.